Kevin Mon, Henian and Walsh Asset Management President and CIO. Kevin, great to have you with us. I'm going to pick up with Seagate because what Seagate is telling us is, is really a continuation of what we heard, what we've been hearing often, that is um, businesses are, are getting cautious in spending, that things are changing quickly. I mean, considering Seagate issued guidance just in mid-July and has to take down the guidance now, how do you factor this into your outlook for stocks of things have really deteriorated and are deteriorating that quickly. Certainly, Melissa. Clearly, we're in the midst of an economic slowdown, one that's likely to last through a short recessionary period. However, I do see two potential tailwinds for stocks that could support a strong close to the fourth quarter of this year. That first tailwind being the Federal Reserve turning less hawkish, certainly not dovish, but less hawkish. A lock-in rate of 75 basis points is all but in place for September. They don't meet in October, and I believe they'll come back in November and December and only raise by 25 basis points at each of those two meetings. The second tailwind that we see is midterm elections in November. Historically, over the last 60 years, stocks have risen on average over 16 percent following each midterm election. And that outperformance is even more pronounced in the one in three months thereafter. So even though we're within the midst of an economic slowdown that's being accompanied by high inflationary pressures and rising interest rates, we do still think there could be a strong close for stocks this year. Does that happen um, with the cadence of 75 basis points, 25, 25, and, and that's less hawk hawkish? Does, does a positive finish or a decent finish to the year also happen if unemployment ticks higher in that backdrop? Because the consequences of the Fed's actions are these byproducts of things like unemployment ticking higher. Yes, and ironically enough, that's what the Fed is looking for. They're looking to put dents into consumer spending and also the unemployment rate. With all that said, we think that will allow the Fed some cover to turn less hawkish as a result. When and if they do turn less hawkish, that's supported for higher stock prices. But if you're worried, as I am, Melissa, that the Fed may be too aggressive in light of this slowing economy, we would suggest that you look to traditional sectors such as healthcare, certain large cap pharmaceutical companies that pay attractive dividends, like a Merck or like a Brister Myers Squibb or even CBS that will allow you to manage through this period of economic slowdown up to and through recessions and also pay good income.